Hello everyone and welcome to another card video. Today is super fun. We're playing with my favorite things bubble over with joy stamp set and coordinating dies. But hold on, we've got bubbles. We are going to make a background with bubbles. That's right, bubbles. So I got this idea from Pinterest. Uh, and I broke out my safety glasses this time because when I first started doing this, I got bubbles in my face. We're gonna use the Avery L watercolors to dye our bubbles. You can use alcohol inks, you can use food coloring, you can use just about anything to color your bubbles. But today, we're using Avery L watercolors, liquid watercolors. So I poured a little bit of the clear bubble solution. You could even make your own bubble solution. And I added several drops of the liquid watercolors. I like the way that these were subtle and not as vibrant as the alcohol inks because I did try those. I want to add enough drops that it is a good consistency of color. So I stirred it up and here's a tip. The longer these two sit together, the bubbles and the color, the better the <laughs> the better the solution. So we're going to use a piece of Canson watercolor paper. Watercolor paper is uh, important because we're going to saturate this with liquid and we're going to dip our little stick into the bubbles and blow the bubbles literally on the paper. Now I've used this hospital bucket from some kid that I had, either <laughs> text or probably, and this helped me control the bubbles. I I've got a little helper, as you can see. Once the bubbles started flowing, he got interested. And I'm not sure if the bubbles are harmful, but they got everywhere and I had like blue on my face, so I decided to give him some safety glasses. But you literally just have fun with this and blow the bubbles on the paper, allow them to pop or pop them yourself or whatever you choose to do. The effect that it gives on the paper is different depending on the consistency of your color, the um, how much bubble solution you use. So um, I did try this multiple times and I'm gonna show you the results, but it was just super fun and it resulted in a very subtle mixed watercolor background. And it was super fun for Dexter to do. I'm using a straw. You can also use a straw to pick up the color and blow a ton of the smaller bubbles onto your project and you can also use the straw to blow air to move the color around on your paper if that's what you choose to do. I just went with it and I allowed the paper to dry naturally. I did not dry it um, with my heat tool. Here I am, I'm going to layer yesterday's project with this one. So I started this yesterday, I let it dry naturally and now I'm adding more color to see what it does. Um, it's very easy to clean up. It wasn't, it didn't stain anything, at least to my knowledge. Um, here's some slow motion bubble footage for you. <laughs> um, but it did make a mess, so please be careful. Th these smaller two backgrounds right here are used with alcohol inks. It's a little bit more vibrant, a different uh, look to it. So if you want to try it with your alcohol inks, by all means, go for it. But I really liked how the Avriel watercolors looked. And here I am using a Your Next Stamp stitched rectangle background to cut down my background pieces. I loved how this like really vibrant blue one turned out. It was probably my favorite. That one had a little bit more um, bubble solution and that's why it had like some of the string effect as you can see. Um, and this one was a little bit more diluted, but also a really awesome background. We're using my mini Misty to arrange the images that I'm going to use today from the Bubble Over with Joy stamp set. And we're going to just, we're going to make two cards using the uh, MFT Extreme Black ink to stamp my images. And we're going to do some Copic coloring. Very simple Copic coloring. I don't ever get really intense with that. <laughs> Um, I do have Copic color maps on my blog if you're interested in the exact colors that I used. Um, 
they're they're I make them so that you can pin them because that's how I use Copic color combos. If I see a combo that I like, I pin it to Pinterest and then I go back and look for inspiration on my Pinterest boards. You know what also is really cool? I have probably I have the majority of my photos uh, of my projects that I've ever done uh, online on Pinterest. Now I had a blog prior to this blog that I deleted and it was a terrible mistake, but I can go back on Pinterest and see all like those older projects from like 2013. So if you're ever interested in looking at some of my older projects, go to my Pinterest board. It's I think it's cards by Corin Wiskman on my Pinterest account. And you can see like go scroll all the way down <laughs> to the older projects and you can see kind of uh, what what I was making, you know, in 2013. It's kind of interesting to look back on those things and see how your style has changed or how you've progressed in coloring and things like that. It's really neat. So I'm just using um, a rainbow of colors, trying to match the colors that are showing up in the background, if that makes sense. So subtle red, subtle purple, subtle green um, to try to match those Avery All watercolor colors. Um, the bubbles were super fun to color. I just used some really light shades of BV and B, I think it's like B triple zero and BV quadruple zero that I used for the bubbles. And it just made, and I shaded them, but I also made like circle motions in the bubbles and it kind of made it look like a bubble. I don't know. It was my attempt at coloring bubbles. I think it turned out great and it was super fun and I hope you try it. Anyway, um, the coordinating dies to this set are great because they cut out that little bubble that appears to be coming from your little bubble wand and the cluster of bubbles. The only thing that I was disappointed in, it doesn't have a die, at least to my, my set, <laughs> doesn't have a die to cut out that three bubble cluster. And I was really disappointed because I wanted that. I wanted a dye to color to cut out that. But anyway, I'm using the coordinating dyes to cut out my images. I end up using um, both of the bunnies and uh, just a couple cl clusters of the bubbles. And then I tried something different um, on the other card. So. I am, I have a piece of Simon Says Stamp Slate cardstock, and I'm going to white heat emboss with Hero Arts Ultra Fine White Embossing Powder. Now, my theory was to use a speech bubble with the Bubble Kisses uh, stamp, but I didn't have a speech bubble large enough. So I cut out the one sentiment with the oval window stitched oval window set by MFT and then I restamped the second one as you'll see in this video to do something different but the stitched oval window die is cutting out the you make me bubble over with joy sentiment and that worked out really well for one of my cards the die was intended to make a window but I just use it to cut out sentiments so that they're not crooked um, I used the Sizzix, I used Sizzix circle framelits and the circles that come in the coordinating set to the stamp set to cut out these little gray circles. And I'm stamping the Bubble Kisses stamp sentiment in the circle to make it a bubble. Does that make sense? <laughs> so I'm um, heat embossing this and then I'm going to pop this up with Scotch 3M foam tape on, on the lighter more subtle background. So this is popped up and then the other bubbles I'm using this Lawn Fawn adhesive to adhere them flat to the background. I was really disappointed that in myself because this sentiment uh, blocked a lot of the background that I thought was so beautiful but I don't have vellum adhesive and I didn't want to have my adhesive showing so I went with it anyway. I love how the card turned out but I wish that I had some vellum to make that so I, you could see the background. Um, I popped it, I popped up both backgrounds with craft or craft foam and double sided adhesive. And my images are getting popped up with 3M foam tape. 
I went with the bubble cluster that I colored with this background. And I, I ended up actually adding another cluster off camera before I did my final photo. So you'll see even more bubbles on my final photo. And then this is a doodlebug tiny heart shaped sprinkle. I love those things. And these are Daris um, iridescent clear sequins. And my husband loves to give me some pointers of where I should put my sequins. And I don't mind at all. Now this is awesome. I put a little bit of cool tack or tacky poster adhesive on the end of my micro brush and I can pick up my sequin and put it down with my, uh, my syringe and it's super helpful in this. So that's about it guys. These are my cards for today. I love the way they turned out. Um, find me on social media for more subscribe if you like what you see and coming up is some footage of me and my husband out without kids with friends for saint patrick's day interesting man in the world is here today. His name is Chuck. 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 He doesn't drink often, but when he does, he chooses Dos Equis. And I have car bombs that are here for $6. Irish car bombs, six bucks. Chuck, I'll your brother up Chuck. Ask, uh, ask Brian about the flaming shots that are here. Irish potatoes! <laughs> oh, wait. I should have said flaming, sorry. <laughs> They'll pass you by glory days. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm just trying to do that man on karaoke. Way too many. <laughs> <laughs> we put people on the spot here. What's that song you say? He's so shy. He's so shy. So you're a little too convincing. <laughs>